Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see solution of homogeneous linear differential equation. We know that we have a differential equation of the form that is we have seen in our previous lecture that differential equation is d raised to n of y divided by d x raised to n plus a1 into d raised to n minus 1 divided by d x raised to n minus 1 of y plus a2 into d raised to n minus 2 divided by d x raised to n minus 2 of y plus so on plus a of n minus 1 into dy by dx plus a n of y equal to phi of x. So, this is a differential equation of in terms of what here nth order. So, but here uh, what we are going to see in this uh, today's lecture is so we need to see how to find a solution of homogeneous linear differential equation so if we use this nth form uh, it will be a little bit uh, uh, what here uh, lengthy part so instead of to get uh, what here quick grasp uh, for this uh, concept uh, for solving this uh, method so we'll use uh, what here uh, um, simple that is second order will make it so in, this is nth order second order means d square y upon d x square plus a1 into uh, dy by dx plus a constant will take and we'll see how to get a solution uh, for this homogeneous linear differential equation so let's see that concept now so we'll consider for a second order equation and uh, you can uh, the same you can extend for what here order more than two also so let's see first uh, for second order here so consider consider second order equation that is d square y upon dx square plus a1 into dy by dx plus a2 into y equal to 0. Homogeneous means equal to 0 will come. So, if non-homogeneous means equal to phi of x will come. So, be careful. So, this is a differential equation of order 2, but it is a homogeneous. So, I will give equation number 1. So, where, where this a1, a2 are constant where this a1 a2 are constants now so among this this equation number one so we'll put what here put d is equal to d by dx so capital d is equal to will replace d by dx as capital d and this uh, d square upon dx square that is capital d square is equal to what here d square upon dx square so therefore the above expression that is 1 we can rewrite it as what your d square upon dx square will be capital d square so capital d square into y plus a1 into d by dx is nothing but capital d of y plus a2 into y equal to 0 or we will rewrite this one as take a y common so it will become d square plus a d plus uh, sorry a1 it is so a1 d plus this is a1 d plus a2 of y equal to 0 or i can say that this above inside bracket is a function of d of y equal to 0 so for this we will give equation number 2 so now from equation number 2 we need to check for what here a solution here so we know that what is f of d so where where this f of d nothing but the bracket that is d square plus a1 d plus a2 so this is nothing but actually it is in the form of equation so usually if you take a second order differential equation so then it will be a second order uh, or quadratic equation so for this we need to go for what here a uh, roots for this and we from that root we have to get the uh, values in terms of d 
and that uh, values in terms of d we have to equate to 0 uh, and we can make it as what your auxiliary equation for this so just see for that what uh, details we can do now so now so for this uh, we have to make auxiliary equation just see so auxiliary equation is means to get uh, roots uh, we need to go for auxiliary equation means what we got this f of d that is d square plus a1 d plus a2 we have to equate to 0. So from this we are going to get a values of two values of d because it is d square means we will get two values of d. So but this is in a general form. So I will suppose what here suppose I may get d is equal to one answer as c1 and another a d answer I may get what here c2. So these are the two uh, values of this d. Okay. So in general I am taking here. So therefore so to write the solution for this uh, we have to use a standard rule as. So therefore the general solution of this above equation is the general solution or I can say that first we will see the solution or the general solution will be so I will write C1 of variable y1 plus C2 into variable y2 ok so for this we have to be careful that so for initially what we are going to get the solution it is denoted by so denoting denoting yc is equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 so this yc what belongs to so what yc belongs to i have taken it is going to called as complementary function so yc belongs to what here complementary function so what first by using the roots of uh, the given differential equation using auxiliary equation so we are going to equate that one to what here yc is equal to the solution so that solution is what going to get what here in terms of complementary function because this uh, complementary function contains what here uh, arbitrary constant c1 and c2 so with the help of this uh, complementary function we are going to write a general solution so therefore the general solution is given by the general solution is if the equation is in terms of y means so we can say that the equation is in terms of y so because y variables are used so therefore the general solution is going to end as y is equal to yc okay so y is equal to yc and we know that what is yc so we have to conclude in this way so these are called what here complementary function and its solution uh, uh, is what here homogeneous so therefore whatever complementary functions uh, uh, result we are going to get, get is nothing but the general solution which we are going to be uh, compute as what here y is equal to because here our given variable uh, we have used as y if they have used x we have to write x is equal to xc here so in this way we have to get a solution of homogeneous linear differential equation so once we take one example based on this so again uh, the method will be completely clear here